I would say that we are concerned because there is certainly evidence that the economy has suffered uh, but because of the uncertainty created around this debate uh, and the circus atmosphere of our politics around what should be um, a serious matter treated seriously because we are talking about the full faith and credit of the United States government. We're talking about uh, the thing that matters most uh, to Americans, which is the health of our economy and the capacity of our economy to grow and create jobs. Uh, so, so some damage has been done. Now, we are a powerful country with a powerful economy, and we are the United States of America, and the American people are very resilient. We need to resolve this, and we can get on with the task of making sure we are doing everything we can to grow the economy and create jobs. Uh, we need to make sure that further damage isn't done, which is precisely why any measure that suggests we should be uh, having this debate again at the end of the year uh, is just a wildly bad idea. And, and any measure that suggests we should be having this debate in a way that re require the kind of votes that we're now talking about, when you see what's happening in the House and the efforts to get a bare majority to pass a high, highly partisan measure, does anyone really think that we can, uh, that it is uh, plausible to hold the American economy hostage uh, to a two-thirds vote in the House and the Senate? This is a dangerous game, and it's not what the American people want their elected representatives to be doing.